Hey guys, well I was on the news today uh, watching uh, the Weather Channel and North Carolina and New York are really getting pummeled with at least 18 inches of snow. Holy crap! But look at here in Canada, I don't even know what's wrong. Snow's starting to uh, actually melt here. It's starting to feel like spring. So it's minus 1 degrees today Celsius, so that's maybe about 29 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. And I guess we'll do a little cold start video of my car since it hasn't been running since a week, a uh, week or two. It's usually daily uh, maintenance to make sure that the car runs okay. As you can see, look here, I'm even in a sweater and it's really warm outside. So I can't wait to take this car out in April and I'll do a little video of uh, me driving it out of here. So we have, uh, it's unlocked. So I'll just keep the door open. Just... Now we got some snow, not much. Alright, let me tie up the battery and uh, we'll see how it starts. So battery's all connected how it starts oh yeah I got a comment from uh, Steven asked me how to tell if an LSS is supercharged or not well there's one difference that you can look if you look at the VIN number right here let me put on macro and see uh, if you see no, the VIN starts off with uh, 1G3HY5214 the one your eighth digit of your VIN code is your engine code and if it was a K, then it's a normal 3.8. If it's a 1, then it's your supercharged mode. Let's close the door. There we go. Nice and, nice and toasty in here. So, he asked me why that the needles jump up and down sometimes. Well, every time I start the car, every time I do the cold start video, uh, the battery is disconnected. So once the car is disconnected for a period of time, the needles just jump to calibrate. I think that's what it does. Okay, so hopefully you have the key. I sure do. Okay, have the key. It's been about two weeks since it's last been fired. And uh, for snow, Master Snowstorm, I did promise him to do the van. I'll do that on Friday. All right, so. Yeah, just let's see, because it's been two weeks and it jumped to calibrate it. Still the same mileage, um, 137,297 kilometers. And if you put that in miles, that's 85,330. All right, so um, we'll prime the system. to get gas. Okay, let's go. There we go. Second try, not bad. So that's zero degrees Celsius. That's 32 Fahrenheit. Let's check the motor, how it runs. Corner oil filter that I installed. Back to performance. Runs awesome. All right, let's shut her down. Nice and warmed up. All right guys, see you later.